what's going on everyone so guys today is another beautiful day man i tell you guys to do something new you know i took some time scouting around looking on amazon ebay to find a computer case which i found the perfect computer case for him a computer case that has the proper air ventilation uh and the reason being especially dealing with gaming rigs and you're dealing with air cooling you need to have the proper airflow to com keep your computer hardware components cool if you have a temperature computer case and you have ventilation at the front top rear and underneath you're good to go you can always throw in a case fan just a custom case fan underneath your graphics card if you see that your temperatures are rising for your video card this particular computer case we're going to be doing a custom artistic paint job it is not the common paint job that you guys may be here to see it is a absolutely custom paint job which features this wet theme paint it's like a wet artistic drippy paint job that's the theme that we wanted for this computer case and my son absolutely loves it the main concept that you guys need to understand is when it comes to painting a computer case is number one you need to prep your computer case number two is you need to basically apply a primer and then number three is your you know your final coat of what you want your computer case to actually look may throw in a preview of the final build just so you guys can somewhat see it i might do it i may not i may save that for the actual uh build video to all my you know subscribers that are out there for automotive uh repair videos man i tell you man i i've, I've been I, I, i'm 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 fiending to drop these videos of me doing automotive repair um on some vehicles that I had. But right now I just wanna push these computer electronic videos out uh, prior. But I'ma get back to it, trust me, I'ma get back to it. Maybe after this, more than likely after this. All right guys, in this box we have the Cool Masters uh, computer case. This is a Masterbox MB311L. A-R-G-B. By default, it's, uh, I guess you can say, uh, it's the, you know, standard uh, black computer case. It's got a, call it a temperature glass on the side. It's not plastic, it is glass. As you can see, this is the computer case. This is gorgeous. With the uh, temperature glass. Oh my gosh, this is wonderful. You got the uh, built-in fans here. With the LEDs. You got side vents. It's also got filters. This is wonderful. I just, it's so, it, it, it looks so good. Like, I, I don't want to, I don't want to paint it now. So this is another uh, ventilation with a uh, screen, a mesh screen. So that way, you put your power supply here and it gets his vent ventilation here. Um, This, I'm trying to figure out what's going on with this thing. I got to look inside to see what's going on there. All right, guys, what I'm about to do is, oops, I'm about to, I'm about to unscrew this. And I'm going to try to figure out if I truly want to paint this or not. It's getting late outside, so I'm not 100% sure. All right, this is not going to be the best masking job, but I'm going to hurry up and get it done because it's getting late outside, and I want to spray this outside, not inside the house. I'm not really worried about the wires because nothing is truly exposed other than the outside wire. There's no true uh, connection. 
that's currently being exposed. All of the connections are inside of here. And since the case is gonna be closed on this side, it's nothing to worry about. Wrapping the fans. Of course, the proper way is to take the fans out, but they'll be fine. And if anything happens to these fans, I actually got some new fans sitting below. So I usually do multiple layers because uh, knowing air, it always finds its way. Air, paint, fluids, they always find their way. So I try to overlap my layers when I do my masking. So that way, if it tries to get in between here, it's actually just gonna get on the actual other side of the tape. Again, this side is pretty much gonna be um, when that face plate is on, this side is pretty much covered up. So, any true imperfections, nothing to worry about. So, inside, uh, underneath, is an actual control board. So, I'm going to cover that up. The vent holes on this case are 100% fine. Um, paint is just pretty much going to spray through them and go inside the case. Um, it's not going to affect anything. So now I got this side of the fan covered up. What I'm going to do is take this tape, put it on the other side. The reason why I'm doing that is just in case there's any overspray, it won't leak down. I always overlap the tape. All right, spinning the case around just to kind of eyeball everything to make sure that I have everything down packed, which I do because it's just a case. So this is the front of the case. I want to mask off on these vents and then take my razor blade and just cut them, cut them down. Uh, we got the front panel, which Cool Master's been taped off. Inside taped off, uh, they're all vent holes, so they'll be fine. Uh, let's see, back case is fine. Nothing really needed to protect. Even these screws, you know, we can always, I can always come back and replace them. And besides, usually if you paint a screw after, you know, you tend to unscrew stuff, paint will come right off. Uh, let's see, inside the case, everything is well, everything's okay. <laughs> it is dark outside, but this is the primer that I'm using. It's a quick quick hit. Get a nice coat. All 
That looks good. And that's just one coat. I should have closed that a little bit more better, but it'll be fine. Uh, the buttons, that'll be fine too. I wish I was able to do this when I got a little bit, uh, more, you know, light outside, but when I do my other uh, computer case, I'm gonna uh, try to shoot for better lightning. forgot to mention um, that before I do paint, I typically sit my uh, paint in some hot water for roughly half an hour. So this type of paint is going to take a few layers, I can see. Yep. Blue. Store. Yep. This paint is about to run out already. I should have got more. Hmm. Seems like it's now I'm starting to be a little bit more better than what it was before. It's definitely going to take some multiple coats to really get this thing to look right. Slowly getting there, slowly getting there. I can see it. However, I think I'm gonna run out of paint on that side, so. Uh, yep, well, we're just gonna have to make it a little design. We'll just make it a little design, there we go. Call it our little rough design give it a little touch there all right all right i think we're good on that end Decent there. Now let's hit this side here. Tight 
telling you, I think the best the best side is gonna be this this back side. Try to get in these crevices without doing too much overspray. It's really hard to see this without any good light, but. You know, sometimes you just gotta do it in order to get the job done. Call it Mr. Jones. Quick computer painting service. You know, let me know which uh, type of paint job you want. Honestly, the paint jobs that aren't really like professionally done, they have a tendency of looking even more beautiful, you know? Some nozzle, they just splatter. They don't have that perfection when it comes to painting. I mean, you could definitely change it, but like I said, I'm just pretty much doing this. It's a quick job. All right, you guys, I'm just uncovering everything. See, fans are absolutely fine. It's got a little overspray. Other than that, it's just a out of shell cabling. That's good. It's okay. Inside of the case. doing good wiring perfect as well as up here vents that paint it but as you can see they're not blocked paint it but not blocked what's going on everyone as you can see we have everything assembled got the cover on um, also found out what this uh, mesh is for it's actually for the top Pretty much keep those uh, fans up top nice and clean. 
away from the debris. This mesh is for the bottom. It was underneath here, and that's for power supply. Put that back. So it's only been roughly uh, two hours since uh, this computer's been drying. So I'm going to give it some more time before I flip it over and begin to install my hardware. I love this case. I love the ventilation. love the fans. I love the design. I love this glass. I absolutely love this thing. Now I'm, I'm, I'm actually wondering <laughs> if for my gaming computer, if I should also get a uh, Cool Master case. Just look at that blue. I'm a fan of blue. Like blue is my favorite color. I've always loved blue. And this blue is just, is hitting. It is hitting. So what I've also noticed is that this glass is not 100%, you know, on a flat surface of the case. So you can see here, it's got washers here and it allows some airflow so it's not fully closed in. So that's pretty darn cool. And of course we have our watered down effect, watered down paint effect, which I was pretty much trying to go with. There we go. This is gorgeous. So I kind of want to take some time and possibly throw a decal on it with like a a smurf face like a blue smurf face that would be pretty dope especially if it if it if i could find like a decal that glows in the dark that would be pretty darn cool but the unfortunate thing is that um i'm not going to be able to see that side and the reason being is because this computer is going into a uh wall mount computer case so the wall mount computer case is actually on my computer desk to give it even better airflow instead of, you know, putting in the cupboard or against the wall. Um, so this side is going to be on a wall of my computer desk and this side is going to be facing towards, you know, the walkway or me. So I will basically be seeing this and not that. Uh, the top, as you can see here, is for adding our fans and we do have a mesh for that to protect the inside of our case as well as the fans to kind of add some filtration to it which is absolutely needed and, and just wonderful and yes they are still breathable so i'm going to add hmm, i'm trying to see how many fans can we kind of maybe one because the fans I have, they're pretty big. So maybe one fan here. Definitely two up top. That's going to be wonderful. And as you can see here, we got that overspray. <sighs> Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. Got your bay for your power supply, which has got a ventilation. And it pretty much um, is it's open back there. So it has, you know, even more ventilation there. So it's not like a closed block box that you're putting your power supply. So those are the bays for your hard drives. I would open it, but I'm trying to let this case let it drop. Hopefully you got a good starting point on how to paint your computer case um, and hopefully guys you know your computer case paint job comes out well in your favor Don't forget to leave a like uh, drop a comment if you have any questions or concerns or anything that you may need a tip on man just leave a comment if you're not a subscriber to this youtube channel hit that subscribe button right there guys just hit it just give it a nice tap man you can do one tap you can do two taps you can do three taps shucks man tell your whole family and friends to tap that subscribe button right there peace